According to the statistics, Alexander Usyk is among the most effective heavyweights of his time, and he has demonstrated an extraordinary capacity to confront larger opponents. It was in the Ukrainian's most recent bout with Tyson Fury, where he found another gear and severely damaged the Gypsy King, after surviving an assault in the middle rounds, that these efforts were most obvious. After previously becoming undisputed at cruiserweight, Usyk became named undisputed once again with the split decision triumph. His victories over top-tier opponents like Fury, Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois, and Derek Chisora, have led many to believe he is unrivaled among his peers. If the dueling tales told by Martin Backel are to be accepted, that is not accurate. In an interview with TalkSport, the WBA's number one ranked boxer Backel reiterated his assertion that he knocked out the first heavyweight champion in history while training with him. I prefer not to lie, therefore I don't. My word is always law. You may see it in Boxer's video. Alexander Usyk's manager approached me when I was live on Sky Sports and proclaimed, this guy is going to be world champion tomorrow. He knew my identity from when I was giving Usyk a run for his money in the gym. I slammed Usyk till he passed out. He never even touched me. A body shot from me knocked him out. They informed me he needs a week to recuperate as I was leaving the ring. People shouldn't believe everything they hear Usyk had earlier said, in response to Backel's account of events. Fighting America's next heavyweight prospect, Jared Anderson, on August 3rd, will be the greatest challenge of the 24-year-old's career thus far. Anderson is the Congolese heavyweight's opponent. A victory over Anderson would prove that Backel is serious business in the ring, but his sparring tales which also involve Dubois and Joshua have come to characterize him to some extent in the sport. And that's it for our video. I would like to see what you think in the comments. Thanks and see you in the next video.